Welcome to this third video on getting started with some effect pedals on your Harp E. This time about the G1X4 by Zoom. It is still under $100, but it gives you a lot more options and quality than the one shown in the previous video. Let's have a quick look at how it works. As you've seen before, plugging in your Harp E switches on the preamp unit. You then plug it into the effects pedal, which switches the pedal on. Plug the pedal into your amplifier, either a small one, or a larger one like the AR Domino 2 that we've used here and you're set. So this little box has loads of presets and lots of things you can create yourself and reorder and restack and really create your own sound. Way too much to all explain in this video, but we're just looking to give you a little flavor of what this might sound like with your Harpy. We've created a little example stack of effects here in this empty slot number 50. And we'll just uh, switch on the tremolo effect here in this stack. Very nice. And then this one, for example, a sequence filter, a bit quirky. Interesting. And the next example, uh, this classic um, whole reverb. nice thing is that you can then deep dive into each of those effects and tweak the parameters and really start experimenting with the sound of each parameter and make it your own. Now let's come up one level back here and select the next effect which um, is this really cool pedal that can be used for anything and the classic one of course is the wah wah. You might have noticed that we skipped over the first effect in this stack, uh, the octaver. That's because I would like to show it to you in combination with a, uh, a loop pedal that's also built into this. Okay, let's create a little bass line. So now we've got our loop running. And now, of course, you can do loads of fun stuff uh, on top of this bass line that we've just created. Stack all these effects that we've just um, experimented with on top of each other and uh, yeah, really create songs like this. So that was some looper action for you. Now, like we said before, there are many more combinations of effects you could put together. Some very brief examples of other effects that work well with the harpy on this uh, zoom pedal. Like for instance, this delay effect. Or a flanger is another classic. And it's got lots of distortion options to choose from. From nice and loud to crazy loud and insane. Stacked all on top of each other, you get some really interesting results. You get the idea, adding a multi-effect processor like this, slightly more advanced but still very affordable, it really opens up a whole range of new playing options and sounds for your heart. Thanks for tuning in, we'll see you in the next video and we wish you happy experimenting.